so I am back for my next pregnancy update and I am going to go over weeks 31, 32, and 33 this time. Um, I was doing two weeks at a time, but knowing that this was going to be the last week, I figured I'd just put them all into one. So today is Saturday, April 19th, and I am 33 weeks and three days pregnant. <sighs> I'm so, so happy. I'm so happy to make it this far. Um, I mean, I kind of was a pretty confident that I would, but, you know, there was always those little scares every once in a while throughout the past few weeks that, you know, kind of make you question whether or not, you know, I'm going to go into preterm labor or not. We did have one other bleed this past Sunday or Monday? Monday. I think it was Monday into Tuesday. And it was really minor. Like, I mean, I went to the bathroom and I just looked down and there was, there was some red blood. I wear liners all the time just in case. Um, more or less to make sure that I know what's going on. Like if I, if I have just black underwear on or whatever, I'm not going to know. So this way I can tell the nurse that I had, you know, how much and I can show her. Um, yes, they like to see everything so that they can write down exactly what they, uh, what's going on. So, and it really wasn't a lot. It was just a little bit. And then when I wiped, there was some, and there was a couple drips in the toilet. Now the drips in the toilet actually were kind of like, made them a little nervous. They thought maybe it was active bleeding, but excuse me. One of my symptoms this coming up over the past few weeks is burping, <laughs> so I apologize in advance if I burp. Um, so anyway, yes, so I did have a little bit of the bleed, and then um, they monitored me all night just to make sure and everything was okay. I shouldn't say all night. They monitored me until I think 1 a.m. Um, this happened a little bit earlier in the night, and no, no, I'm sorry. Um, they monitored me all night. I didn't sleep. That's right. It was Monday night into Tuesday, and I didn't sleep. Um, maybe, I think I slept for like two hours. So, yeah. So, anyway. Um, yeah, so so that was that. But I didn't bleed at all after that. And I um, haven't even had any spotting at all. Like, Which I've kind of had spotting all throughout this time here of some sort. Usually just dark, dark brown. Um, or like kind of like the very end of a period mucus stuff, but that was it. And I haven't had any of that this past week, so that's really awesome. But as a result of actually having that bleed, they gave me another round of steroids. And at this point in the pregnancy, they call it a rescue steroid. And basically, um, I didn't realize this in the beginning when we got the first round of steroids. The steroids technically only last like two weeks. Um, and I guess how it works is it kind of, it helps to open up the vessels in the lungs so that they can, you know, work more effectively. So, but it only lasts a couple of weeks. I thought it was all along and they told me, I know that it, it's actually just, um, just like a two weeker. So I would not have received another round of steroids had I not had that bleed. So I'm really kind of happy that it happened because, you know, that'll last through when we're delivering Harmony and that'll help her. That'll make um, her uh, her um, lung um, response better and will set her up better for breathing on her own and everything very, um, very much. So so I'm kind of good, glad that it happened, even though um, it was a bit of a scare again. But yeah, so, so everything else has been really pretty good. Um, so on Monday, I will have been here for 10 weeks. And I gotta say, honestly, it hasn't really seemed like it's been 10 weeks. It has gone by pretty quickly, and I think I owe that to the fact that, one, um, I've been working, so I've been keeping my mind busy on that. You know, I've been doing some research for baby stuff and, you know, becoming a first-time parent. Um, but most of my time has been spent working. Um, and then my nights, you know, John comes up to visit, family comes up to visit, and then the nursing staff here has been amazing. They are so friendly. They come and they hang out with me. They treat me like a friend. They are very, very caring. Um, I, yeah, I really can't say enough good things about how everybody has been here. It has been amazing, and I'm very, very thankful for their amazing care. So thank you very, very much. I appreciate it. So otherwise, yep, I've been able to maintain um, my leave. I haven't had to take any other days off since I came in. I took three days off when I first got here because I was, you know, under, um, 
I was medicated so I couldn't work during those three days and I had to get a doctor's note that let me work so I had to get that done uh, but yeah otherwise it's been really good and I've been productive I I'm feeling pretty confident that the girl that I've been training that she's gonna do fine um, you know she's a friend of mine too so she's gonna check in with me once in a while and if she has anything major that she needs help with then I'm gonna you know and you know, obviously answer any questions she has so that will be um, how we work it out so yep so we are so excited we are scheduled to have an induction on Wednesday just three days away I'm so so excited so the hope is that they're gonna do an internal ultrasound on Wednesday morning and they're just gonna check the positioning of um, Abigail's placenta baby A's placenta which is the one that's gonna be lower um, that is the one that has been you know giving us the issue I ruptured on the um, well I guess it was technically the 9th when I first came in here I came on the 10th um, so that has been the one that's been in question. It's always been low lying. It hasn't been 100% a previa, but it has been close to my cervix. So that has been the one that has been causing some bleeding here and there. So we know it's not affecting Harmony's blood supply. Harmony's placenta is separate and it hasn't, you know, we haven't seen any issues with that. So we have not really been able to see the um, Abigail's placenta. Um, one, because it's just so low and two harmonies growing and it's getting hard to see down there so the best way to do that is to do an ultrasound internally which we haven't done they also call it a transvaginal um, we haven't done that because of the risk of infection so so on Wednesday it won't matter at that point because we're gonna go one way or the other so so they will find out on Wednesday what they think and the doctor that we talked to on Friday really is thinking it's gonna be fine um, it didn't appear to him in the ultrasounds that he'd seen that it's it's anywhere you know close enough to cause an issue to avoid having a vaginal delivery um, you know if there is a bleed then they obviously will go ahead and do a c-section at that point but you know the risk of it is is kinda low you know um, the blood that I've been having you know throughout the whole stay here has been old blood it hasn't really been active blood so he's really not too too worried um, most of the time when it happens it's because like Harmony's been so active and maybe she's been kind of like just aggravating the area so we'll see we'll see how it goes but I'm really hoping for it to be a vaginal delivery as well you know it's better for my recovery and it's better for Harmony you know a vaginal delivery helps push all the fluid out of her lungs um, and that's just going to be another thing that'll help her do better in the NICU and help her get breathing better and you know it'll just help everything so so we're really hoping that will happen if it doesn't we do have a backup plan we do have a scheduled c-section on Friday but obviously if we're going through the induction process from Wednesday and we um, get to the point where things look scary or I you know start to show distress of some sort then they would do it early but they're also not going to let me labor and labor and labor. They're going to, you know, if I if I don't deliver naturally um, before Friday, then they're going to do a C-section. So, so we'll see how it goes. So that is the plan, and um, I couldn't be more happier. Everybody got together the other day, NICU, my doctor, and the uh, maternal fetal medicine, and they all kind of did like a review. It's kind of weird, like my nurse came in and said, are you going to the meeting tomorrow? And I was like, what meeting? <laughs> like, I was like, what are you talking about? She said, oh, they're having a meeting about you. I was like, oh, no, I didn't know about this. So she she said that, yeah, yeah, you know, NICU um, got concerned because, you know, NICU's whole world is about the baby. Um, and of course, they would rather me wait to 35 weeks. So there's just like so much more um, progress at that point. But the risks of having an infection just completely outweigh the benefits so but they just wanted to kind of put it in rec in you know in writing and get their their recommendations out there um, and then they talked to the other doctors and they all agreed that this was the best plan so but it was kind of funny I was like they're having a meeting about me um, obviously they talk about me at rounds every morning all the patients that are here they have to you know all the doctors have to know about so but it's just kind of funny the way she'd said it I was like no <laughs> um, but yeah so 
so really excited. So yesterday we had our last growth ultrasound. I mean, they're gonna you know do a growth on Wednesday too, but this is the official one. And at the last time we uh, met, it was 29 weeks. The 29 week um, growth ultrasound was the one that I knew, and she was two pounds 12 ounces. And then from that point, she went um, to 31 weeks and was three pounds 11 ounces. And that was a pretty big gain. We were really excited about that and thinking that if she had another gain like that this week that she might come up five pounds. But unfortunately, she um, she didn't have as much of a gain this week as she, or the, the last two weeks. She ended up being um, four pounds and one ounces, which is still great. Um, it's still well within the range for normal. She's on that growth curve, which is great. So they're expecting her to be around four and a half, which is what we they were telling us from the beginning. I think I was just really hoping she was going to go for five. But... You know, I shouldn't actually put a whole lot of weight in her weight because <laughs> um, they say that it doesn't really matter a whole lot as far as, you know, that much of a difference at this point. She's a 30, she's going to be a 34-week baby and she's going to have issues that a 34-week baby will have, but she will overcome them and it's going to be fine. She, um, you know, she's going to have a little bit extra help with the steroids, so that's good. And, you know, they don't expect her to stay here a whole lot. They're thinking that she'll be in the NICU for... Um, maybe a week and then she'll move over to special care and we'll go from there so I think thinking two maybe three weeks well we'll see I hope that's all um, but you never know she might be out quick so we have met a few other um, patients here that have had their babies early and they were going home within a week so so you know you just never know these babies are amazing it's really amazing what they have the ability to do and you know, adults like us, if we were put in a similar situation, we probably wouldn't be able to do it. So so um, let me go through some of my um, symptoms that I've had. I mentioned burps, <laughs> and I think that's kind of related to acid and heartburn. I definitely have had a little bit more acid reflux. Um, hasn't been awful, um, and I, you know, thankfully have one of those Craftmatic type beds here, so I never sleep flat. I always sleep on an incline, and, you know, I try not to eat within four hours of going to bed. Sometimes I can't avoid it. <laughs> I just get these cravings, which, hello, another <laughs> symptom. I don't have weird cravings, but I mean, I have sudden things that I just want right now. Um, I saw a commercial for Breyers uh, Gelato Ice Cream, and it comes in three flavors. It comes in a caramel vanilla, which I love caramel, so that was like I wanted it. Um, also tiramisu, which is another favorite thing of mine, and the I think it was the strawberry cheesecake. That one I could... I'm fine with. I would. I would definitely eat it, but I would definitely choose the other two first. But the caramel one, oh my gosh, um, I really, really, really wanted it. So of course I posted on Facebook and I said, John, this would be great for tonight's dessert. And he didn't bring that exact one up because it was only available like in one store in our area, um, and he wasn't going in that direction. So, but he did pick up a caramel vanilla ice cream, and it was it just totally hit the spot. Um, so something like crazy, like I just I had this craving for a certain thing at that one time and then like the other night it was like two o'clock in the morning and I generally wouldn't want to eat that late but I really wanted a peanut butter and jelly sandwich so I had um they have bread and stuff down at the little cafe it's like a little um kitchenette down down the hall and they have like a full-size fridge they have coffee they have um, um a Keurig they have tea and then they have like breads and just like extra things of like ketchup and jellies and peanut butters and um, salts, ketchup, uh, strawberry, <laughs> I already said that, um, <laughs> uh, uh, you know, just condiments basically. And then, um, so I called the nurse and I was like, I know this sounds crazy, but can you bring two slices of like whole wheat bread down? And she's like, yeah, why? I'm like, I want a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> and she laughed. She's like, okay. So um, I had peanut butter and jelly here. So um, yeah, so I made myself a peanut butter and jelly sandwich at 2 o'clock in the morning. And then Harmony kicked up a storm. And that was one of the last videos I posted. She must have liked it. <laughs> so I posted a video of her movements, which she is a very active baby. Um, I love it. Like my stomach is constantly moving in different like alien-like formations. And it's so cool. It's really, really cool to feel. Um, not really painful sometimes, yeah, it's a little uncomfortable, but but it's not that bad. I mean, I'm probably lucky that I'm not going to have to go the full term, and I'm sure those movements would feel a lot worse, so, so yeah. Um, so my 
know, I've had to pee a lot more. Um, the nurses here were kind of shocked that I didn't have to get up and pee a lot throughout the night earlier in my time here. Um, I've never been somebody that had to pee a lot. I think I just have a big bladder. Uh, but, you know, it doesn't matter how big your bladder is when you're pregnant. The pressure of a baby on it is going to make you feel like you have to go regardless if it's full or not. So certain positions that she gets in, I just have to pee. And I don't even pee a lot because, yeah, like I said, it's not full. But so I'm definitely peeing more. Um, restless leg, that is something I've had throughout my entire pregnancy. Um, and I haven't had as much here since I've been here. And I think that's probably because I just haven't been walking around a lot, maybe. Um, you know, maybe when I'm using using the legs more, they're, I don't know, kicked up or something. But one of the ways that I have cured it when I've been here is this wonderful massager that my parents gave my husband for his birthday back in, like, 2005. It is awesome. So, you know, you just put it, like, my calf right here, and it vibrates, and it is amazing. So I also use it on my back when my back is sore and my neck. Oh, my God. If you can get your hands on one of these puppies, do it. It is awesome. I, we love it. My husband uses it all the time for his back. It is amazing. So, definitely. Um, let's see. Bloody noses. I've had bloody noses, again, throughout my entire pregnancy, so that's nothing new, but it happens more often here than it probably would have because it's pretty dry in the hospital. So I do use a humidifier over here, but, um, you know, it is what it is. Um, um, hot flashes, that's a new one. This past couple of weeks I've had some pretty random hot flashes. I'd ask people that were around and they'd be like, yeah, no, it's not hot in here. <laughs> and I'd be like, well, I guess it's just me and a little harmony heating me up. So, and the burps, yep, another burp. <laughs> so, definitely. So, and then another symptom, I wouldn't say it's a, um, necessarily a symptom, it's just kind of a result of being pregnant, is I did get stretch marks. So, oh well, um... Yeah, so they started kind of lower underneath my belly button towards my pubic bone like um, a week ago. And they kind of, they go um, vertically. So, you know, it's it's just part of being pregnant. So, you know, what are you going to do? So I'm going to do what I can after. I'll put some lotions on. Um, and I got some lotion that supposedly has like a 70% in two weeks, like they're a reduction. They're not going to go away, but, you know, they'll fade a little bit. And hopefully this will help fade them a little bit more. So if they don't, then, you know, it is what it is. It's part of being pregnant, and I'm completely fine with it if it gets me this baby. So, yep. And let's see. I think, I think that is about it. Yeah, for symptoms, that's it. And um, so, uh, so a couple, uh, last Sunday I was surprised when my three best friends and my sister-in-law showed up here and they did like a little sprinkle shower for me. It was so cute. They brought in lunch. They gave me diapers and toys. And, and one of my friends that couldn't make it to the shower, Melissa, she brought her present here. So that was so awesome. It was so very kind of you guys to do that and surprise me like that. Um, it was, it was, I was <laughs> really shocked. I had no idea what was going on. All of a sudden I saw my friend walk in with a platter of food and I'm like, what are you doing with that? And she's like, oh, I just figured I'd bring you lunch. And then a few minutes later, my sister-in-law knocked the door, and my other friend came in. And then another one came in. I was like, oh, okay, you got me. So, so that was really nice. Today was, um, I did a maternity shoot. That's why my hair is all nice and curly and my makeup's all pretty. Um, we did a maternity shoot, and we actually got some really great pictures. I wasn't sure how it was going to go because it's not really that green outside yet. It's just starting to get warmer and it was a beautiful day for it. It really was. It turned out to be, oh, just perfect. And we got some amazing pictures. So I'm going to do a separate video that has those pictures in there. But yeah, so I'm really, really happy. Thank you so much, Holly, a good friend of ours that isn't even a professional photographer. She just does it on the side as a hobby. But I knew she would do a great job. She has done some photos for my husband. I've seen her post some pictures of her dogs. She has um, beagles, and she does... Um, fostering for beagles and she just takes some really really amazing pictures so I knew I knew they were going to be great and she was oh I'm not, I'm not professional and I was like don't worry you have a great eye it'll work out great we'll work together and we'll make it happen and it, they did they came out so amazing I did post some on Facebook already so if you haven't seen those yet I will um I'll put the link below and um we'll get those out to you too so let's see what else Breast pumps. So I got my breast pumps this week, and I say pumps because initially I'm going to rent 
the Medela Symphony. This thing is huge. So here is the Symphony, and it comes in this gigantic plastic case because this puppy, it is not cheap. <laughs> if you wanted to buy this thing, it's like fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars $1,600. So yeah, I'm renting it. So I'm renting it for the first three months because this is like the Cadillac of of pumps um, and where she's going to need a lot of milk initially and I just want to make sure that I, I'm able to supply her. So that was what the lactation specialist recommended. She said, you know, rent this one for the first three months and then switch over to the pump and style. So I went through my insurance and I got the pump and style and I got the uh, one with the Metro bag. So hopefully, <laughs> you know, the, uh, the flip side of this is that otherwise everybody else in the world recommends the pump and style because it's, you know it's an affordable and a really good option but now compared to the symphony I'm probably not gonna like this after but what are you gonna do this one is way more portable than this thing is so and then the only thing is you know you have like a, a set of your own parts so this is the part that like you know it's just my own and I keep that for the symphony so so that I got all set up to ready to go and that is about it I'm gonna let you guys go this this went on for a long time but like I said it's three weeks wrapped into one so um, um, I have a couple of, like maybe cute little videos I'm gonna do I got some uh, maternity wear from baby be mine and you know I'm gonna see if I can wear their hospital gown that's pretty and cute and polka dotted and all that kind of stuff I can't wear it actually during the delivery because it has metal buttons unfortunately so um, they only allow plastic buttons in case they need to shock you so fortunately I have to kind of go with that but I can labor in it so that's my plan you know my husband um, will probably take some pictures and video during the laboring process we're not allowed to film the actual birth they don't allow any filming or pictures of any procedures done here which I'm fine with I'm not really sure I want the actual pushing labor part although I mean I don't know you can do it very discreetly you don't have to show all the gory I was hoping they would just be able to show you know from you know here <laughs> and up but nope I guess you can't because you can't even get any sound of it so that's fine I'm fine with that um, but we will probably do a little bit during and we will do some after of course so that's the plan for now um, so yeah so I will put up some other cutesy videos and then um, you guys will get to meet her next week. And I'm so excited to show her to you. And <laughs> oh, I can't wait. So I will talk to you guys later. Once again, thank you everybody so much for your support. We, um, we couldn't have gotten through this without it. And I appreciate it more than I could ever express. Oh, one more thing. I almost forgot. I don't know how I almost forgot. But I also want to thank Lisa. Thank you so, so much for nominating me for the online baby shower um, YouTube family hello you guys have been amazing and they gave me some wonderful gifts some awesome gifts I'm so excited I got a lot of um, some of the stuff that I wanted for bathing so and some fun toys oh my gosh and the nose Frida <laughs> I write my friends think I'm nuts <laughs> for wanting to do that but I've seen so many people on YouTube talk about how wonderful it is and just another, um, a friend of a friend the other day actually said the same thing, that she thought it was nuts and she can't live without it now. <laughs> so, yeah. So, anyway. Sorry this has gone long. Again, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.